pretty. She's good. Hi. Hi. All right. Let's talk real quick about yesterday. Some of the things that the coaches saw, and then we'll talk about today. Aaron, can I borrow that glove again? Okay. Hey, listen. In the infield portion of our drills, we talked yesterday about getting to what side of the ball? The, the right side of the ball, because then we're going to move left. When I watched you guys, some of you guys still attack the ball straight on. So see my left ear right here? Yeah. I want to take a step. So if the ball's coming at me, I want to take at least a step to the right of the ball so that the ball's on my left ear. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then that way, now when I move back towards first, I'll catch the ball over my, our guys should know this. Where do I catch the ball? Over my what? Left eye. <laughs> CJ, where? Left eye, baby, that's it. So I get the ball on my left ear, and then when I come back towards first, I catch it over my left eye. That makes my glove be completely open to the ball. Everybody got that? Okay, so let's keep working on that today. All right, some guys are pretty good, some guys still going just straight at the ball. And then you've got to stop, and then you've got to try to come this way. Outfield, the biggest thing, we're gonna work on it today. When you turn to run, what do you have to do? Sprint, exactly. Too many guys doing this yesterday. You open up to run and you're just kind of jogging. In a game, when the ball's driven in the gap or the ball's a shallow pop-up that you've got to come in for, are you going to jog or sprint? Sprint. Sprint, right. So some of you guys were like jogging and making the drill easy. I want to see if you can sprint and catch the ball. We went bare hand yesterday. Today we'll go gloves. But what we're going to do today with Coach Connor and Coach Geis, you guys are going to sprint either right at Coach, across to the left or across to the right, and they're going to flip you a ball. You have to run as fast as you can, keep your eyes from bouncing up and down, and be able to catch the ball. Everyone got that? I thought the hitting was pretty good overall with the coil drill. Does everyone understand the coil drill? All right, so today we're going to transition from the coil drill. I'm going to keep that for one more second. So instead of doing the coil drill today, now we're gonna do what I call the hover drill. So you're gonna get in your stance, you're gonna take your helmet, and you're gonna put it between your feet. I won't step on your glove, Aaron, but I'm gonna pretend this is a helmet. Can everyone see that? You're gonna put it between your feet. Then you're gonna take your front foot and you're gonna balance it on the helmet, okay? I'm not gonna step on Aaron's glove, but you would put your foot in the helmet. So now we're gonna get coiled just like we worked on yesterday. So your hips are gonna close a little bit. Think about taking your back pocket. So if you have baseball pants on, take your back pocket and feel like you are gonna, I don't wanna ruin the glove, turn your back pocket towards the pitcher slightly. Everyone got that? Yeah. We talked yesterday, yesterday about having our chest slightly over the plate. So see how my butt goes out and my chest comes over a little bit? So now I'm in my coil position. I'm gonna take my foot off the helmet and I'm gonna try to stay in this good, strong position. Everyone see that? When I take my foot off, am I going to do this? No. No. Why am I not going to do that? Because you're off balance. I'm off balance. So it's hard for me to time up if they throw me an off-speed pitch or if it's not the pitch I'm sitting on. Yeah. Yeah. So usually when players get here, they want to swing like this. So they're going to swing down through the ball. I want to be balanced so that I can get my bat behind the ball. So when I go and move out, see how I'm still, think about that coil drill. We were around this back leg. When you guys are striding, see how I'm still strong around this leg. I'm not pushing and jumping forward into my front leg. All right, so coaches will be watching to make sure that you're not getting heavy here, but you're controlled. And the way you can practice it is do your stride like half speed. Everyone got it? So if this is my normal stride, this is my normal stride. This is what I stride in the hover drill. Everyone see that? If you go slow in the hover drill, it makes you control it. If you're somebody that always does this, well then in the hover drill, you've got to really exaggerate slow. On the field, I thought the swings were pretty good on the field yesterday, not bad. Keep taking whatever it is we practice in there and take it to the field. So you're, tr you're doing your drills in the cages, and then when you go to the field, don't just go back to just doing whatever you want. Think about, okay, what did I practice in the cage? Let me think about that and trying to get that ingrained in my normal swing. 
Oh, base running with Coach Marco. Biggest thing I saw with Coach Marco yesterday is players want to slow down before they get through the bag. So you've got to run through the bag as hard as you can, and then you spread your feet and chop your feet. Anyone ever been in a relay race before? Anyone ever seen like uh, Usain Bolt run or anyone like that? When they get to the finish line, do they slow down? They dive. Oh, so yeah, I've seen a guy dive or something, right? <laughs> but they're running hard all the way through the finish line, right? So you can't stop or slow down until you're past the bag, then break it down. Don't start breaking it down before the bag because those plays that are like real close, all you need to do is slow down a little bit and instead of being safe, you're out by that much. Today we're gonna to practice leading. How many people here have taken leads in games before? Okay, some of you have not taken leads in games before, that's okay. We're gonna teach you today how to take some leads so that you can start to practice and understand how to take a lead, how to take a secondary lead, how to steal. Let's talk about that real quick. Hey, uh, Marco, put you on the spot. How big is our lead at first base, do you remember? Ooh, wow, see how quickly he said that, 12 feet? Okay, 12 feet. Now, 12 feet is different for everybody, but this is what usually gets us to 12 feet. And the way that we can practice it, I think the simplest way for you guys is, if I've got the base right here, all I need to do is go shuffle, shuffle, and about a half a shuffle. And that gets you right to about 12 feet. Everyone got that? Okay, when you get your lead, why do we not cross our feet? What's that? You, you can trip? Yeah. yeah, what if you're crossing and he picks over? And your feet will get teased. Yeah, you're, you can't get back. So for your age, we just teach heel to heel, okay? What's another big mistake I see? Watch me, what did I do here? This is what I see a lot of players do when they get their lead. Looking down. Why can't I look down? If they pick, I'm out. How about this? I see this a lot too. I see guys get their lead and then they go like this. Always look at the pitcher. Always eyes on the ball and the pitcher. Exactly. Players get their lead and they look back and they say, how far am I? Do I need to go more? Am I too close? And what happens if he picks when I'm looking? Out. Exactly. We have a pitcher that when he gets it, his sign, he's peeking over his shoulder like this. And he's just waiting for guys that look back or look down. And the second he sees them look back, he turns and picks. Two years ago, he picked off like five guys doing that. Okay? So, eyes are up. What are we reading? Coach Marco, what are we reading when the pitcher comes set? We're reading his heels. Yeah, his feet. Can everyone see my feet? If it's a right-handed pitcher, and my left foot lifts up, and we're stealing, what, is it, what do we do? We go. What if you see the pitcher's right heel lift up? You're getting back. So you'll learn to read their feet. Left foot lifts, and I'm stealing, I'm running. Right foot lifts, I'm back. The last thing we'll cover, does everyone know what a secondary lead is? Yeah. When do you take a secondary lead? After the pitch. After the pitch is delivered, uh, uh, well, when you get older, when you're younger, yes, but when you can take leads, when the pitcher is delivering the ball to the plate. So when his left foot lifts and I'm not stealing, I take a secondary lead. What is a secondary lead? Anyone know? Yeah, yell it out. Shuffles, how many? Two. Two shuffles, watch me. One, two. Now what happens if the ball's not hit? I cross over hard and get back quickly. I don't walk back, why don't I walk back? You can get a back pick from the catcher. So if you cross over hard, they're not gonna try to back pick you. If they see you do this and just hang out, we're gonna try to back pick you. So that's what we're gonna practice today. It'll be new for some of you. Let's just practice it because a lot of you are transitioning soon, especially young players that are going and playing uh, travel baseball, you guys will start to have to lead. I think almost everybody here will soon be leading. All right? So might as well work on it now. Anything else, G? How are your arms feeling? Pretty sore. Yeah, I bet they are. What are you doing? Is that how I showed you how to do the hover drill?
slow it down about and bring it back a little bit half speed between your feet there you go. half speed slow it down slow it down hey. control it There we go, knockout, no pressure. Better hit it. No, oh, all right. She's got the opportunity to knock him out. On Come on, Mason. Miss. Just misses. Now Mason's. Oh, Thomas, Thomas can knock him out. <laughs> yeah. Eyes on the pitcher. Reading his heels. Shuffle, shuffle, cross over back. Yep, stop on the bag. Work, don't run through the bag. Actually stop on it when you come back. Shuffle, shuffle, cross over, stop on the bag. Good. Oh, Hayden McFadden just went five for five on home run derby. Wiffle ball home run derby. Hayden, you're the leader right now? He's the leader on, he's the, leader on the deck. Hayden, are you still 12? You're 13 now? 12. So what are the rules? We got to throw a strike? Yeah, he throws a ball out. and the guy behind him throws a strike, he's out. All right. Got to throw a strike here. A lot of pressure. Ball. Ball. If Aaron throws a strike here, does he win? No. Oh, there's still more guys left? It's just me. Oh, he comes up for the, uh, ah, I see. Aaron's going to throw us right down the middle. He's thrown like two balls. I mean, that's easy, that's easy money. That's easy money. Ball up. Only two guys left. It's going right down the middle. Oh my! How easy is this? <laughs> Watch Aaron. You can't even get in Aaron's head. You will not throw a strike. You will not throw a strike. <laughs> Told you. You can't get inside of his head. Impossible. He just throws dots. Who's gonna win this? <laughs> that's that's a strike. That's a strike. I don't there any questions. This is not fair. How am I meant to win? Aaron's playing darts right now. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ball. Ball down. Aaron. If we had a real catcher back there, maybe he frames that a little bit better. A little behind it. Yeah, you look like Marco on the mound. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the pressure. Competition. That's Strike three. That's game. That's a hook. That's right there. That's right there. What are you talking about? Strike yeah, that's a strike. That's a strike. That's a strike. That's a strike. All right, base runner, let's go. Aaron, you won. Woo! What do you have to say? Uh, hi. <laughs>